Hi, this is Susie with the Five Waiting Rooms, and today I'm talking about miscarriage and why they happen. Um, it's something several of us have been through, and whether you know why it happened or not, it doesn't really make it less painful. Um, most of them do happen within the first 13 weeks of pregnancy, which is why that first trimester is such a scary time for most women. Um, but they can really happen at any time throughout a pregnancy. After 20 weeks of pregnancy, then um, it's not really called a miscarriage anymore. It's called a stillbirth. Um, it's the most common type of pregnancy loss is miscarriage. Um, let's see. They are different reasons. The most common reason is going to be chromosomal abnormality. And if you've had several miscarriages, most doctors will test to find out why you're miscarrying. Um, we only had one, and our doctor tested to find out, and ours was a chromosomal um, deletion. Our baby was missing a chromosome um, in spring of 2009 was when we had that miscarriage. And um, again, it's, it's, still, it's still a painful thing. Even when you know why, I think you're still going to have that question of, well, why was it deleted? Which chromosome? Was it the sperm? Was it the egg? What was what was wrong? And pretty much that that is why miscarriages happen, is something went wrong. There's so much cell division and things that are going on in those first 13 weeks with implantation, and if, if, if the baby doesn't implant correctly or it divides in an improper way, then um, things are going to happen. And it's kind of one of those things you just have to know that it wasn't going to be a healthy pregnancy and as painful as it is just knowing that can give you a little bit of comfort that that it wouldn't have been right and your body knew it wasn't right and the baby knew it wasn't right and it just it's nothing that you did you know we try not to smoke we don't use drugs we try and um, be healthy during our pregnancy but even in the most healthy person miscarriage can still happen um, maternal age can have something to do with it the older you are the you know after a certain age your chance of miscarriage does increase I think it's like after 35 and you know there are people that are 40 getting pregnant and their chances of miscarriage is definitely greater than someone who's you know 22 so um, that can happen um, they say that the chance of miscarrying that anywhere from 10 to 25 percent of all pregnancies will end in miscarriage and of that 50 to 75 percent of miscarriages are um, chemical pregnancies and a chemical pregnancy is something that happens very short after implantation and it is when um, you know it, it happens right away when when it doesn't implant properly and it just most women don't even know that they're pregnant and it, it's so early in the pregnancy and um, you know, uh, I think it's different for all of us that, you know, you can go online and Google all the different types of miscarriages if you really want to know the different names for them all. Ours was a missed miscarriage, which is where your body doesn't realize that the baby's no longer growing and your uterus continues to grow, but the baby is no longer alive. And, um, you know, so we didn't have the bleeding and the spotting to tell us we were miscarrying, which is most commonly what does happen when you miscarry. Um, so I hope that that kind of answers some of your questions as to why miscarriages can happen. And again, just those are the most common reason is chromosome abnormality. So it's something that unfortunately many of us do have to go through. I know I've gone through it. Danny's gone through it. So if you want to email us on Five Waiting Wombs, if you have questions, leave them in the comments below or shoot us an email. Um, and we're just, we're kind of all here for each other. Anyone that's been through one really knows what it's like and can, can help, you know, help each other go through it and cope and, and get past it and, and kind of quiet that voice in your head that asks why, why, why me, why did that happen? and just kind of uh, move forward and continue with your trying to conceive journey and um, um, yeah so if you have questions let us know and uh, talk to you ladies later bye